Hello guys, today I am going to discuss about the topic uh, open source technologies for big data analytics. So we will see what are the wide varieties of uh, open source technology tools that which we are going to use and uh, what are the proprietary tools, uh, why we went for this open source technologies and all. Uh, we will discuss in the today's class. See what is this open source technology, what do you, what do you mean by that means? Uh, Open source means uh, we know that everything, uh, all the source code will be available for free in the internet and uh, I can easily download it, I can deploy it and I can run all my algorithms in the easiest manner without paying any money. That type of softwares are called as the open source softwares which is available in the source code form and it will allow the users to study. We can study, we can do any enhancements, we can do lot many changes. Uh, why? Because that my I, my software that is freely available in the internet. So I can do lot of enhancements, any modifications I want to do, I can do it. But the only thing is we should not violate uh, uh, that uh, general, public, uh, general public license rules and agree, agreements uh, should not be violated here. And uh, some other open source projects are managed and supported by all the commercial companies. Uh, what are those commercial companies means? Among those, uh, the one biggest company is the cloud era here. So, which will provide the extra capabilities, training and uh, professional services also it will be provided by the cloud era. And which will support the open source projects uh, such as Hadoop. It will support the open source projects such as Hadoop also. And uh, this is uh, similar to what the Red Hat Linux uh, has done for the open source project here. And uh, the open source stack doesn't put you in a straight jacket. That means don't, don't think that uh, if that is the open source means I can uh, use it in a straight away manner. But that is not the case. You know very well if we are working in the Linux environment means uh, uh, we are going to get lot many troubles here. But still we have to cross those hurdles and we have to move for the installation process and all. And one of the great benefits of these open source is uh, we are having a lot of flexibility is there. Uh, we can adapt it. We can download that particular model and we can deploy it. With open source, uh, you can try it and adapt it at your own pace. And uh, the open source, uh, big data analytics refers uh, to the use of the open source. Uh, uh, softwares and tools. Lot many open source um, uh, softwares are which are uh, available in the market. Uh, like our Apache Hadoop is there, Apache HBase, Hive, uh, Apache Pig, uh, Apache Cassandra, and uh, Apache Scoop, uh, Apache Flink, Apache Flume. Uh, <clears throat> lot many tools are readily available. These are completely open source only. There is no need of paying one single rupee also for these softwares here. And the biggest player in the open source big data analytics is the Apache Hadoop will play the major role here. And it is most widely used software for um, processing the enormous data sets across a, a cluster of computers uh, using the a distributed process for the parallelism here. And uh, we'll see what are the assumptions of the big data means. The assumptions of the data that are generated can be manageable. We will think that uh, how much amount of data that is generated, we can manage it. But uh, after time goes on, uh, the programming resources would remain scarce. That means we don't have sufficient programming uh, resources, known skilled persons also we don't have here. Why? Because if you want to run your Hadoop means, uh, we need completely the skilled and the Java professionals we need here. And we need the faster data processing which would require the bigger and the more expensive hardware here. We need the faster data processing and we need the expensive hardware also here. Those are the general assumptions of the big data. But the scenario of it is completely changed here. We are going to use only the open source software. Sir. And all these open source softwares by using these, sir, we are going to store the large data sets here for the worldwide community of the open source programmers here and uh, open source uh, big data analytics make use of the open source softwares and tools in order to execute the big data analytics uh, by using either the entire software platform or uh, various open source tools uh, um, for different tasks in the process of the data analytics 
and the apache hadoop we know that it is the well known system for the big data analytics but the other components are required before a real analytics system can be put together here and hadoop is the open source implementations of the mapreduce algorithm which was given by the google and the yahoo here so the basic of these things is the analytics here and uh, we can use of the open source uh, including the robust database system such as uh, uh, mongodb and uh, sophisticated and scalable no scale uh, databases we are going to use it completely for all the big data applications and uh, let's discuss about what is this proprietary software what do you mean by proprietary software here um, proprietary software it is uh, nothing but the source codes are not completely and uh, freely publicly available in the market here we can't do any modifications uh, whatever the com software that is produced by the company we have to use it and uh, here the software is developed and tested by an individual or the organization by which it is owned or not by the public and the software is managed by here and the software is managed by a team of individuals or the groups who are go, who have developed this uh, software we have to pay for it only one more important point is uh, we have to pay for it and we have to get that software and uh, <coughs> we have to uh, use this particular software as a commercial purpose 